serious, what crime do you really want to see solved and justice served? Attention. Serious. Tag notice. Asterisk. Jokes. Puns. And off-topic comments are not permitted. HTTPS www.reddit.com slash r slash askreddit slash wiki slash index hash wiki underscore dash rule underscore six dash in asterisk asterisk any asterisk comment parent or child asterisk parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed along with their child replies asterisk report comments that violate these rules Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour. And posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I am a bot. And this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit. Message compose to equals r ask reddit. If you have any questions or concerns. The disappearance of the Springfield 3. In the early morning hours of June 7, 1992, these three women, Cheryl Levitt, 47, her daughter Suzanne, Susie, Streeter, 19, and Susie's friend Stacy McCall, 18, all vanished from Cheryl and Susie's home following a night of fun and partying. All their personal belongings, their cars, purses, and the little dog was left behind. The front porch light's glass globe was broken and there was a weird message of the answering machine that accidentally got deleted. This may not be a famous case, but in my country, there was this 16-year-old girl who was found in a vacant lot. She was raped and stabbed to death. Her face was skinned and an autopsy also revealed that her tongue, trachea, esophagus, parts of her neck, and her right ear were missing. There were alleged suspects but it was never known who really did it to her. This happened in 2019. KK's Corner Triple Homicide. Three victims shot execution style in the convenience store's cooler and made to believe it was a robbery. Gone wrong. One man in prison. The sheriff at the time was corrupt along with many high-ranking officials. Sheriff's son was a well-known drug dealer and bragged about the crime. One of the victims was speaking out about a murder made to look like a suicide and she was shot too. Shut her up. Might be cheating but all three have to be rolled into one. Asterisk. John David Gosh. HTTPS en.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash disappearance underscore of underscore johnny underscore gosh 12 gone missing delivering the paper in des moines iowa on september 5th 1982 asterisk eugene martin 13 gone missing delivering the paper in des moines iowa on august 12th 1984 asterisk mark allen 13 Gone missing heading to a friend's house in Des Moines, Iowa on March 29, 1986. Would be nice to get Epstein's list and put all those assholes in jail. What is a popular show you hate? I feel like the talent shows are all just forced feel-good stories masked with mediocre acts. So-and-so's mom had cancer so she deserves to go to the next round. Any one of the hundred singing shows. Fucking dance moms I do not care what publicity it gave those children Abby is a child abuser and manipulator and should NT be allowed within 10 feet of a child. The Masked Singer. Everything about it is god awful. Who the asterisk asterisk fuck asterisk is watching all these Chicago Fire PD Wild Country FBI shows. There are so many hilariously nondescript cop, firefighter, FBI shows. I never watch network TV anymore. So when I tune into a football game or something and see them, it's hilarious to see all these weird trailers for shit that I've never even heard of. And frankly, quite pathetic what the major broadcast networks have been reduced to. 
13 Reasons Why, Every Character is a Moron, and the show is also extremely boring. What celebrity would you be devastated to discover is a garbage human? Mr. Rogers. Bob Ross. David Attenborough. Dolly Parton. Adam Savage. Everything he's posted on Tested is such a huge inspiration. I'd hate to find out he's different IRL. Danny DeVito. Who ruined Christmas this year and what did they do? This thread sure makes me feel better about the dumb shit going on in my family. Fire. Destroyed my entire apartment complex. Putting 16 families including mine homeless. My app is. Was. The bottom left. HTTPS www.wlbt.com slash 2022 slash 12 slash 23 slash flowwood dash cruise dash battle dash apartment dash fire dash all dash residents dash safe dash officials dash say slash our local gas company put propane in the natural gas and damaged a ton of people's furnaces around 3 a.m the 24th including ours leading to lethal carbon monoxide buildup. We were lucky enough to survive, but at least a few people weren't. If the firefighters' radio chatter is enough to go by, and we won't have a furnace until at least Wednesday. Luckily we were going on a trip anyway. But, fuck Centerpoint Energy. A stomach bug and it made the entire family shit and puke all fucking day long. Me apparently. With my sick. Half a flu. Sinus infection snoring. Someone stomped out to the world's most uncomfortable couch in the living room talking about, I should have flew home when I had the chance. Came here to bitch about my fucking family. Saw top comment. Slowly backed out of the room while hanging head in shame. Who is the most evil woman in human history? Ingrid Oldrock. HTTPS en.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash Ingrid underscore Oldrock. A torturer during Augusto Pinochet's reign in Chile. She trained a dog to rape prisoners. Gertrude Banaszewski. Look at the murder of Sylvia Likens and you'll see what I mean. I was floored by the movie in American Crime. And then was shocked when I looked up the real story and it was even more horrific than the movie. Usually it's the other way around frowning face. HTTPS. en.m.wikipedia.org slash wiki slash murder underscore of underscore Sylvia underscore Likens. Definitely Queen Rana Valona the first from Madagascar. Also known as the Mad Monarch. She was Queen of Madagascar during 33 years. And in specifically between 1833 and 1839. The population of the country went from 5 million to 2.5 million. She used a form of forced labor called Phanampoana to achieve her infrastructure goals. And had her army expand her kingdom to the whole island of Madagascar. While killing hundreds of thousands of civilians in the process. She was very fond of killing Christians. Since Christianity usually means repudiating the ancestral customs and cultures of the other civilizations. Hence, she hated Christians and did all she could to hunt them down. One of her favorite punishments was the Tangina ordeal, in which the accused would ingest the poison of the Tangina nut along with three pieces of chicken skin. If the accused managed to vomit the three skin pieces, enough poison and survive, they would be declared innocent. Otherwise, they would be declared guilty, and killed in case they survived the poison. So, due to the amount of deaths under her orders, three million more or less, and her passion for torture, I rank her as number one. According to Google, the top 25 HTTPS List25.com slash 25 dash most dash evil dash women dash in dash history slash r. And if you want to skip, I recommend reading through the list though. And no number one. Miyuki Ishikawa.
Miyuki Ishikawa was a Japanese midwife and probably the most prolific serial killer in Japanese history. With the aid of several accomplices including her husband, Ishikawa killed between 85 and 169 babies, mostly through neglect. In the 1940s, during the trial, Ishikawa argued that it was the parents who were responsible for their deaths as they had deserted the children. Surprisingly, her defense was partly successful as she was only sentenced to eight years of prison for her crimes. She even managed to half the sentence through an appeal. Ilsa Koch, the bitch of Buchenwald. Her husband was the camp commandant at Buchenwald during the Holocaust and World War II, and she herself was an overseer there. She and the other office's wives would order male prisoners to strip naked and then would order them to line up in front of them. The ladies would laugh and lewdly judge the prisoners by their genitals. She was known to ride by the prisoners' pens in her car and flash her bare breasts at the prisoners. Any prisoners she claimed looked at her would be executed. She and her husband would select, order, certain prisoners to join them in bed, where they would essentially sexually assault those prisoners. Afterward, she would have those prisoners executed. After the war, Koch gained prominence as one of the first Nazis tried for war crimes by the U.S. military. She hanged herself in prison in 1967. Good riddance to an evil, evil woman. Georgia Tan who she kidnapped and sold thousands of children. Subscribe, my brothers.